here at the full octane garage we have quite a bit of experience when it comes to the GMC Denali in the past four years we have owned four of the vehicles including the 5.3 the 6.2 the 1500 the 2500 the Duramax and the naturally aspirated gasoline version while we've had great success and great dependability out of these vehicles there has been some issues that we have noticed in our reviews in the past GMC apparently is listening the 2019 rebodied Denali not only cosmetically looks different but they really seem to tick some boxes in some of the issues that they've had in the past and meeting up with some of the standards that their competitors have set a benchmark for. In this video, we're going to cover all of the new characteristics of the GMC Denali, take a look at the exterior, the interior, and then we're going to take it for a drive. Some quick information to start. This GMC Denali has the ultimate package. That's a $6,000 option that puts the truck just short of $70,000. There's been some comments in the past about the Denali's and similar trucks becoming more kid haulers, which it can be, but that can't be farther from the truth. Speaking from experience, I've put over 60,000 miles in the past two years in my GMC Denali while working in the construction industry. It's been one tough truck. This V8 powered truck has a 10 speed transmission and gets about 17 miles combined for MPG. That's 15 in the city and 20 on the highway. As you can tell, the 2019 Denali has a lot more bling than the previous models. There's a lot more surface area of chrome and even details like the GMC logo where the letters are much more raised and pronounced in the previous models. Full displacement badge on the side that was not there before. Redesigned mirrors up on the window side of it and they extend out farther from the truck. This shape, the kind of the rectangle with the corner notched out, it's carried on all the way through the vehicle like the rear the rear window is brought to the lights, the, uh, the shape of the wheel wells, they brought it all the way through the truck. Integrated mud flaps, 20 inch chrome wheels. One major change for the 2019 Denali are the new headlights. You either love them or you hate them. I think we love them. A really cool addition to the 2019 is if you need to get into the bed of the truck and you're not terribly tall, you can actually kick the back button on the uh, side step and it comes out past the back door which allows you to step up and actually reach in and grab something out of the truck and then when you're all done, you kick it again and it hides away totally nice and clean under the truck. Okay, now that we're looking at the back of the truck, there's some really cool upgrades on the back of the truck for the 2019s. And the biggest one that I love is the dual exhaust tips. And it actually has dual exhausts coming out the back where before you had a single exhaust pipe out the side. They've also made the badging more three-dimensional, a little bit larger. They've emphasized the Denali this year, which they had in the past. The past it used to be very small. It was actually smaller than the Sierra, which kind of surprised me. Uh, it has a 9,300 pound towing capacity. It still has the... Uh, the various types of uh, uh, trailer wiring configurations and uh, this has side steps that have been enlarged you can actually get a large foot in there now which in in past years it was uh, just a little stubby and you kind of had to grab it with your toe okay one of the biggest changes for 2019 is the optional multi-function tailgate and it actually has a couple of features that are really cool first you push the top button and the top section of the tailgate will drop and it'll allow you to do some loading. It will allow you to reach in and get some stuff out of the truck. And you can also reach in and lift up on, uh, on this particular piece. And what this particular piece will do is allow you to load some items in and allow them not to slip out beyond the back part of the truck. 
Another feature of the tailgate is an auto down tailgate. You push the lower button and it becomes an auto down tailgate. So you now have your features uh, just like a traditional vehicle, it's a down tailgate. You can also still lift your, uh, your stop up so that you can put stuff in the back bed of the truck and it won't slide out. And the second piece to this is you can reach down and hit the button one more time and it now becomes a step for the truck. And you have this uh, handy pole which will allow you to grab it. You can step into the truck and now you're back into the truck very easily. Uh, I'm tall so it's uh, not as much of an issue but for shorter people this will be fantastic. Okay now once the tailgate's down you have another feature that you're able to do and there's if you hit your top button under here the tailgate drops out which allows you to reach into the bed a little bit further and gives you a bit much be bigger reach into the tailgate. Okay, in the 2019 GMC, they've made some major modifications to the inside of the bed to give you more cargo space. Once you open the bed up, you'll notice that in the, in the bed of the truck, and in, in the old style trucks, you would have had a double wall in here, which was much wider uh, to the outside, and, and it would limit your cargo space. And now what they've done is they've put a concave wall into here to increase the inside cargo space of the bed. Additionally, they've moved the uh, bed lighting to the back of the, the truck, and they have also included a 110 outlet in the back of the truck also for those of you that might need to do a little bit of tailgating with 110 power. Now, in addition to the extra cargo space in the bed of the truck, they've also added a good number of tie-downs. It looks like there's six tie-downs in the back, six down in the front, and also the strength of them is much stronger than past years. So that's going to help you tie down loads more securely uh, than you can in the 2018. As you can see by this side-by-side -side comparison, the 2019 on the left looks substantially larger than the previous model. Hey, quick look under the hood and we'll jump in the truck. 6.2 liter, 420 horsepower with uh, 460 foot pounds of torque. There you go. This is a carryover from the 2018, very similar engine. The transmission has been updated to a 10 speed versus the eight speed from prior years. So now the back seat in the Denali is actually luxurious. It has a couple of really cool features that have been great improvements in the 2019. They have rear cup holders for the rear passengers now that are fixed in the center console. You also have individual controls for the rear seat heaters. You have a USB-C, you have a USB, and you have a cigarette lighter adapter. Along with, now we have rear air conditioning and heating vents. And that's Ooh. something that we've been long awaiting for and long complaining about. Awesome improvements. Additionally, they have a super secret compartment. And the super secret compartment's in the back seat. You can actually pull this little door open and inside here is a rubber coated compartment. You could hide your wife's small purse. You could hide uh, ammunition. You could hide a gun or um, this is Tennessee. This is Tennessee where we do carry. Um, and then when you close it up, uh, you will have to kind of try to hide that uh, flap so people don't recognize that that's actually a compartment. So only people that watch our videos will know. Will know. <laughs> All right. So now we're on the inside of the new 2019 GMC Denali. And this is an ultimate package. Um, lots of differences outside. Definitely a lot of differences inside. Yep. Uh, just aesthetically right off the bat lots of very nice brush nickel looking stuff going on here the uh, wood trim I think looks better than it used to before yeah it does uh, the center console I don't know if it's higher or better padded yeah but it, it feels, feels better, better. has right. more stitching elements to it they moved the this is not a phone charger anymore they moved the phone charger down to the center console good to see if it works uh, Justin did say that that's actually yep. cooled also so it can prevent your phone from overheating I thought that was kind of cool that is cool of course it does have the various row of chargers that we had before you got 110 cigarette lighter USB USB-C there's also some additional ones in here uh, USB USB-C USB and an aux yep and this is very similar to the last one it's like a a yawning pit 
-hmm. and it does have uh, rails on there that uh, will allow you to put the accessory tray or file folder holders or whatever in it. Um, the seats, same same amount of controls. They have lumbar, forward, backwards, recline. The seats are all heated and they're ventilated. We still have the dual glove boxes, which is nice. Upper and lower glove box, which my wife absolutely loves. Okay, if we go through the row of functions down here, uh, it does have lane assist, parking assist. Um, it does have auto start. Which auto I, off, we're calling it auto off. Auto off. Yeah, which, that's the perfect selection for it right now. It defaults to on every time you start the truck. Uh, this will drop the tailgate. I won't push it right now. Um, traction control. This powers, this turns the power on and off to your 110 volt. Hill assist. And this will open your side steps and change the configuration of the side steps outside the truck. Right. Dual climate, heating and air conditioning. Vented and, and heated seats. Nice. It, the temperature and the uh, is integrated in with the dials. I noticed the trailer brake button is in here, trailer mode. So how? Oh, so now we have to change it. This year we change it in the into tow haul mode, and rather than pushing the button in the 2018s here on your your, your uh, gear shift stock, you now change it from your dashboard. He has a. Uh, it came out with a new trailering app, which you can get on your phone as well, and then you have the trailering app here on your uh, infotainment. When you go into it, you can save different trailers. So it'll save all the settings. If you have a trailer brakes on your on a mm -hmm. specific trailer, it'll save those settings. Oh, okay. It actually has a checklist, too. So if you have, say, you're towing a boat, it's going to have all the things to remind you to do. And once you've gone through, you can go through and select them all. Like, okay, my hitch is mounted, all that, you know, all that different stuff. You can add different things. So say if it is a boat, you can make sure your plug is in or something like that. For someone like me that has an enclosed car trailer, but I only tow something twice a year, that's pretty handy to have. Mm -hmm. yep. have uh, the dial above it is mm -hmm. for your drive select mode, so it's adaptive oh, yeah. ride now instead of magnetic ride. This one, if you turn the dial, turn it to the right. Will something happen on the display? Yep. Just uh, like turn it and let it go back. Okay. I, there it is. Right. Sorry. So you have tour, sport, off road, and tow haul. And we'll adjust your suspension to come safe for those different types on, of driving. Okay. Keyless entry. Keyless start. That's Finally. there. You go. All the people that whined on my last <laughs> video. Here's your answer. So, here. foot on the brake. There's your start button. Let me check that out. All right. There's your heads up display right there, and there you can adjust it with this button here. Yep. HUD up and down. Look at that. That's genius. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. And then the middle one will change up what information is up there. So right now you were showing your pitch and of course your steering degrees and all that stuff. But it'll show your uh, direction. And oh, that is great. And this is makes it the intensity of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it's going away right now. Will it come back? Yeah, you just move it up. Oh, the switch is reversible. There it is. Okay, that's the switches I'm talking about right there. They'll adjust the location. That's the information, and that's the brightness of the heads up. Uh, this all looks pretty similar, I guess. Is it your mm -hmm. cruise control settings? Yep, cruise control settings. On there. the left hand side, mm -hmm. this is your uh, your your on and off for the mm -hmm. voice command and all. And so it's a little different than the previous generation because um, instead of being able to hit you know the left arrow and it brings up your menu options, now it's like. You have your menu options across the top bar there. Right. And so you have information where you can scroll with this little scroller now. And scroll through all your different, uh, even tells you your, your brake pad life. Well, that's, actually, that's pretty handy. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. You yep. have filter life, all that different stuff. Um, and then, of course, your music. Um, and it's all controlled through your scroller, navigation, all that stuff, phone. And then the home is just your speed, uh, speed limit. And you have your fuel economy up there, which I think is great, instead of having to have its own separate screen. Yep. Um, and then it has a designated button for the IntelliBeam headlights, finally. So, so it's a button on the end of the... That's how you turn the IntelliBeams on and off. The automatic yeah. brights. Yep. <laughs> you see I put a video on it. I did. Yep. I saw it, that. Yep. <laughs> Genius. Mm -hmm. 
I love that. Yep, so, that's much easier, that's much more intuitive, I think. Yeah. And one very special note that we've seen here is the, the new cameras. Uh, it has a 3D camera, a front view camera, a rear view camera, and I don't know if our camera's picking this up, but it has an LED display for the rear view mirror. You can flip it back and have your regular mirror, which I don't think I'd ever do again, or you can have the, uh, just a, it's, I mean, it's such a high resolution. It's such a great camera. And the cool thing about this 360 degree right now, I don't know if you see in the camera, but you can actually see the cracks in my driveway. It's magic. I don't know how that happens. I think they use a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll flip through the cameras just really quick. So it has several different viewing angles. That one's kind of crazy. This is the the curb one. So you can, if when you're backing up or pulling forward, you're just looking at oh, your yeah, wheels. You see the truck, and then that's the, right. The so this wheel. is the very edge, so you know whether they're where you're about to curb a your your brand new 20 inch wheels. It must be on your rear that's mirrors. That's cool. All right, first drive in the 2019 GMC Denali 1500 6.2 liter Ultimate truck. <laughs> My first impression: the hot, the ride height is definitely higher than it used to be. The truck has more presence. It feels larger than it used to. Uh, it, uh, it it feels like it takes up more road, and it probably does just a little bit. But definitely, I don't know if the trucks the trucks just fractionally taller. But I think the ride height is taller than it used to be. I like it. I feel like I'm commanding my surroundings. The 6.2 liter engine now has a 10 speed transmission and it feels a lot smoother than the previous generation that I'm used to driving. Yeah, it does seem to shift smoother. Um, I notice you have to kick into it just a wee bit harder for it to give you a gear though. That's the that's the only thing that I did notice uh, while we're rolling. Uh, the gas mileage on this truck hasn't really changed since the last generation. It has an average gas mileage of 17 miles per gallon. That's 15 city, 20 highway. The uh, truck is equipped with all the safety devices of the previous models. It has your lane assist and your collision avoidance. You can see it in the mirrors. You can see it on your heads up display. Uh, that combined with what I what I think is some of the best hit, uh, camera displays I have ever seen and the multitude of different cameras that you can utilize with this truck. As big as it is, I feel a lot more confident that I know where all the corners are because this heads up display really does a good job of acceleration. Well, it's a 6.2 liter. I assume it's the same engine that you had in your previous truck. Yep. And it feels fast. This truck, uh, the previous generation truck went zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds. This particular truck has a 10 speed transmission and it also is 360 pounds lighter. So I would anticipate it's at least the same, if not a tad bit better. Right. I'm driving it in sport mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we should say we want to thank Daryl Waltrip uh, GMC for loaning us this vehicle. Uh, Certainly. Lawrence, Nico, Justin, all the guys down there, they're terribly helpful about hooking us up and giving us an opportunity to check out these vehicles as they're coming out on the market so we can let you guys know what's coming up. Of course, I'm sure they're anticipating that we'll come back ready to purchase one also. Well, they're probably right. They're probably right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage as we covered the 2019 all-new GMC Denali Ultimate. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. It is a new truck and we're all learning as we go. And don't forget to follow us. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. We'll see you soon at the Full Octane Garage.
stay tuned at the end of the video for some outtakes. As you probably noticed, the 2019 Denali has a lot more chrome. A you're, lot more you're off screen there, by the way, a little bit. It's my better side, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> As you probably noticed, the 2019 Denali has a lot more bling than the previous models. A lot more chrome surface area. The lights shine and. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up with the lights. <laughs> Are we gonna do the rear seat together? Yeah. <laughs> well, what, I guess a really cool. Oh, I gotta get that right now. <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. Now that no, little, little, little. <laughs> now you have the option to be to make it a step, so you can reach down to the bottom of the of the tailgate, and I'm gonna. Okay, that doesn't work. Ah, I hit the top one. I'm gonna start that one over. Yep. Action. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's talk about the dy dynamic driving mode. <laughs> let's talk. Um, we probably want to turn the defrost on before yeah. somebody wonders if we're making out in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quick. There we go. Today, it will have a pedestrian symbol pop up when it sees when it can see somebody in front of you. So I, said, I was driving by one of the detailers, he was walking in front of me, and it popped up a little pedestrian saying I was getting too close to a pedestrian. Which So it knows the difference. Yeah, knows the difference between a car and a pedestrian. To get is, too close to his arms fly up and then he just rolls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just okay. red line through it and you've killed him. No. The miracle of editing. I'll take all my smart ass remarks. <laughs> I'll put them at the end. She just walked down the middle of the road. Where's my camera? I hope she's in my camera. Because <laughs> see you in a minute, lady. Uh, um, <laughs> The gas mileage on this truck is not much different than the previous model. I'm not sure if it's any different at all, actually. Uh, it has, uh, it's 15 miles per hour. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, the gas single, single uh, sun visors, uh, beauty mirrors with dim lights to uh, protect uh, the people that don't want to see themselves very brightly. Okay, we're... Just We're rambling, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> One thing to really look at is this vehicle has an enlarged gas hole. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Damn plane! I want the plane to go by. Right. Look, I'm looking at it, a large gas hole right now. <laughs> Is it rolling? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> right, okay. Straight face. One nice addition to the 2019 Denali's, and we believe this is really going to benefit the 2500s with diesel, is it has an enlarged gas hole. And the gas hole actually now has room for two nozzles. It appears that they're going to be putting the DEF fluid nozzle in from next to the gas hole. And the nice <laughs> the nice thing about that is you don't have to go under the hood any longer to put your DEF fluid in. So that's a great addition if that's really coming in the 2019-2500 Denali's. Alright, what do we call this little area right here? Then? <laughs> that's, that's a tank. <laughs> it tank gas hole and it tank DEF. <laughs>